discrimination firsthand, you'll know what it feels like to face the ignorance people display, the prejudice they reveal, the lack of understanding they demonstrate when the support people can show isn't there. And we know, because you've told us, that for some people the effects of the stigma and discrimination attached to mental health problems can be worse than the actual diagnosis you receive. Stigma can reach right into the heart of who we are and can be deeply wounding. Um, and I know all too well these um, inaccurate and dehumanising pictures that are painted of us. Painted to us to such an extent that we actually begin to take these paintings and turn them into mirrors that we look at and see for ourselves a distortion of who we really are. We have to take a bold step into ending discrimination and putting a full stop to the practices and behaviours that stop us leaving our lives to the full. challenging this phenomenon and slowly, person by person, in homes, in streets, in offices, in hospital wards, in schools and colleges, we can change how people with mental health problems are perceived and how they're treated and how their rights, along with everybody else's rights, can be supported and upheld on a day-to-day -day basis. I see the kids on the street. Organisation exists um, because of my own battle with depression. I set it up, and these guys have grown behind me, and, and I changed my life a little bit. Oh, okay. 